What's up, YouTube world? Yep, got the trailer hooked up. Gonna go pick up a truck today. It's pretty neat. It's not actually mine, it's for a friend of mine. I'm gonna bring you along for the journey. Check it out. Yeah, it's raining. Not the weather I like to do when I'm having to load a car, but it is what it is.
So I didn't get any video of us loading up Joey's truck. And there's a reason for that. And it's quite a funny story. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story right now. So we, uh, the guy that we bought the truck off of, or Joey bought the truck off rather, uh, knew we were coming probably two weeks. Uh, he told us he lived right outside of town in Louisville. He did. He did. Uh, I put it in GPS. It was a place called Battletown, Kentucky. And it was on the west side of Battletown, which is, was about an hour and a half west of Louisville. We were 40 minutes from Owensboro, almost to, we could have been in St. Louis in another couple of hours. I mean, it was that far out. So we get there. Mind you, the guy knows that we're coming, knew we were coming for a couple weeks. So we get there and the, uh, we see the truck when we pull in. Has no back wheels on it. We get out and look at it. It is compiled full of junk that's not ours. That's not going with this truck. There's like chainsaws. There's just crazy stuff. There's a chicken flying around. So we're like, so what should have been like 20, 30 minutes loading the truck up, hooking it to a winch and rolling it up? End up being like a three hour chore. The guy we bought it off was kind of, I don't know if he had like ADHD or something. Like you would be talking to him and he'd just walk off. And I mean, he was nice, but just a little different. So I, I chose not to film for that reason. So we actually get out there. We, we back the trailer up. We're getting ready to load the truck. We're cleaning stuff off. He brings out the two wheels to put on the back. Says he has them. There are these gigantic, look like something off a tractor mud tarp, way too big for the truck, but we stuck them on there and we got them in there. So we finally get everything cleared out of the way. Mind you, it's like 90 some degrees in a cornfield and it's a hundred and, or feels like 120 because of the humidity. So I get it there and I unhook the winch and roll the winch out. First time I actually got to use a winch, it actually worked really good except for one thing. And I'll explain that. So we hook the uh, chain on the truck, start winching it up and all that. And Joey is actually over to the left of me, probably a few hundred feet away, gathering up parts. And the guy that we're buying it off is actually steering it and helping me loading it up. When I get it halfway up the ramps, the guy just disappears again. Well, about that time, and I'm looking around like, where'd he go? And about that time, the truck comes over the ramps and starts rolling towards me into my truck. And I'm between it and the truck. And I'm like, it's going to hit the truck. It's going to crush me. This is bad. So I reach up with everything I got and stop it. All the joints pop. And when it does that, it bounds the winch up and like causes it to come back on itself because it doesn't have tension on it. So I scream at Joey, come over there. Joey comes over there and he helps me, finds a scotch, throws under the truck, some kind of old sledgehammer. So we, so then the guy comes back and he's like, oh, and he uh, tries to pull it off this lawnmower that won't idle right, this old John Deere lawnmower. It won't even idle or nothing. Tries to pull the truck back forward to keep it from work. Cause if I, it was so close to my truck, if I'd turned the curve, it would have hit. He, uh, but anyway, he, uh, gets his lawnmower. It won't pull the truck at all. So then he goes and takes off again. Then he comes back with his super duty and pulls it off the, pulls it completely off the truck. I just need to pull it forward a foot. So then he takes this missing lawnmower and we had to pull the, uh, winch all the way back out with it. Then we load the truck up. Me and Joey did it and we got it up on there. Got it strapped about where we wanted it. Pretty good. We uh, actually had some parts for Bo. Bo was going to go with us, and he uh, ended up having to work and couldn't go. And uh, we went and got a valve cover, but there was a bunch of other parts he wanted in another truck. And he was, the guy was like, yeah, it's way over there. It was all the way across a field, like a 300-foot walk, probably an acre field in mud, in all that heat. And he said, oh, it's covered with bees. I'm allergic to bees. So I was like, you know what? We'll find these parts somewhere else. So we got the valve cover, got all the extra parts that went in the truck, loaded it up, 
and was out of there as soon as we could. Took us three hours, what took us should have took us 30 minutes. So I didn't film it because the guy was weird. I was afraid he'd be one of these people that kind of freak out with a camera coming out. But it made an interesting story. So anyway, check out the rest of the video driving back. It's pretty cool. We stop at a really, really awesome barbecue place. If you're ever in Louisville, check out Martin's Barbecue. Not sponsored, but some of the best I've ever had. But anyway, here's the rest of the video. Okay, this is the hardest thing I've ever loaded, but it's on there. Joey's 84 bull nose, short wheelbase, two wheel drive, with 351 Windsor, and Joey. Got it loaded up, taking it back to Kentucky. We're in no. somewhere <laughs> between Indiana and Kentucky. We don't know. Apparently but we're south of the border, according to that. Sound. South of the border, south of the border. So we are here, but we're taking this back. So we'll see how she does on the way home.
Pit stop time. We're out of fuel almost it. What I need to roll back, guys. Got three on it. This one do too. Three's a magic number. This one's got three as well. Look here, this one's got four. We need to take one off it. <laughs> what do y'all think that says? Something e X factor maybe X something Oldham County about this guy. Have you hugged your something today? Not yet. I know the sticker it needs, and it's getting. That's right. And for my friend Big D, we're at the Junior Williamson Rest Stop. Last pit stop for the ride home. Been a long day. And it's home. <laughs>